In the final days of the history of the Book of Mormon, there were great armies that made war on a front covering half of the continent. Zelf was a warrior chief who was known from the East Sea to the Rocky Mountains. Zelf died in battle when a large obsidian point lodged between his ribs. After his death, his people buried him in a mound near the Illinois River. There, Zelf's bones rested in darkness for 1,700 years. On Tuesday, June 3, 1834, America's young prophet, Joseph Smith, brought Zelf's bones into the light. On that day, Joseph was marching with 170 men to Zion. Zelf's bones would see the light of day for only 30 days. The following events that are associated with the bones are known to us because of Wilford Woodruff. Only a 27-year-old enlistee, Wilford placed Zelf's bones in his wagon before continuing with the other men on the march. Wilford intended to help with the establishment of God's kingdom. He was getting ready for that day when Christ would suddenly come to his temple. Wilford expected that Zelf's descendants would help build the temple. He was determined to take Zelf's bones to Missouri where he would find a place of honor for them in the temple of the new Jerusalem. After all, Wilford was living in the last days. Joseph had told Wilford that Zelf's bones were a manifestation of the divine authenticity of the Book of Mormon. As the men got closer to their destination, they heard that a mob in Jackson County had burned down houses and driven the saints off their lands into the adjoining county. There would be no redemption of Zion, no temple, no place for Zelf's bones. This was a very difficult time for the new church. It seems that their efforts to build Zion were in vain. There were 205 men who had marched under the banner of heaven to redeem Zion. The Missourians had the upper hand and insisted that Zion's camp had to be disbanded. On Wednesday, July 3, 1834, the men of Zion's camp gathered in Clay County at a ceremony where they would be told to go home. At that time, Wilford took Zelf's bones from his wagon and said that they should be put back in the ground at the borders of the Lamanites and in a place near where God had said that the New Jerusalem would come down from the heaven. And so it was, after 30 days in the light, Zelf's bones from Illinois were placed into the dark soil of Missouri. The second burial of Zelf's bones was 196 years ago. For the last 30 years, Wayne May has told us the world about Zelf's bones. Today, Wayne believes he knows where these bones are. Let's help Wayne May find Zelf's bones. When we find them, we will make C14 radiocarbon dates and forensic DNA analyses. With these facts, we will be able to confirm that the geography of the Book of Mormon is exactly in that place where Joseph Smith told the world when he brought Zelf's bones into the light of day. From Zelf to Zarahemla, let's help Wayne May find the lost city of the Book of Mormon. Go to www.zarahemla.site and donate $10 per month.